Yo guys, what's up? Hey, I'm Sandy Glover here. So, I just wanted to do a little bit of a tour about my iMac. Why I bought an old iMac. Well, let me tell you something. So, you know how when you have like uh, this that you, like, I'll show you for example. Like if you have a really favorite like CD you want to listen to on the iPod or old phone or you want to just sit there the old fashioned way, not like streaming it. So, let me tell you guys what I said about why I downgraded my iMac. So, my own laptop that I had for the longest time is an Apple product, which is probably the oldest Apple product I've ever kept without selling. But I'm still keeping it only because of in case I get an update where I can do CDs again. Let me get into that. So, see the folders and all that? Well, the folders you can convert a B3 files on a new IMAX. The, you can on a new IMAX. On the old IMAX, you can convert into a B3 file. It's really simple. And um, also, the new IMAX don't have the same features. Or, uh, so I'm just looking at some of my music that I'm releasing. It's going to... But yeah, so that's an MP3 file. And um, let me just show you. So if you were to buy a new iMac, this version and update it, you will lose that update, which means you can't. So let me show you about it. You can't put, so you put the CD in it. That's right. Hope that's right, me. So you're putting it that right. And so it will automatically detect that like, when you put um example in that Xbox game in any type of Xbox it will detect right so it just detected that I have a disc in there and that's my favorite band called and so it comes up as this as would you like to and so if it wasn't older this is 2015 it's not that old but if you go older than 2015 with the old software version update, you can get iTunes and new CDs and upload them to your iPod like how you normally would. But if you update this software, I'm not sure what software this is, but oh, it's High Sierra. So, yeah, so if you update it to the next one after High Sierra, you will not be able to. Do any fun old stuff that you used to? You will lose everything. It'll be like a new app will use. It'll be just a desktop screen, no files, um, no CDs. You gotta put CDs on it now. I haven't physically had personalized laptop Air 2017 with a touch bar, but I'm not gonna spend all that money. If I get anything, I'm gonna probably get the MacBook Pro. 2012 for my music. Now, so the new, what you see in the back here is a new port. So they're putting ports, right? So if you update your iMac, this will trade it in for the iMac yellow, blue colored ones. You're going to lose all that and you don't want to do that. So let me just show you a quick tutorial about how I mean about the CDs and stuff. So you see, how it shows the city, right? And so it will come up files and stuff. And then you got like this, but I, I, I was just showing you some example why not to update your software version on the iMac. And also why not to buy any of the newest iPhone constantly. Because if you keep updating your iPhone, well, then it's software, but I, I always the software just because. I like to have better f new features, but that's what I want to get into. If you update or upgrade the software of your iPhone, you will lose old features. But I think Apple does keep the old features, but it takes about like, whatever we're talking about the CD, the CD drive, the new iMacs don't have that. So if you into looking for a studio recording the iMac monitor, Get this. It's it's super cool. You'll love it. You'll be thankful you have it for about ten years from now. So I do this. That's all I gotta do for it.
today. I'll be seeing you guys. I'm gonna do a video sometime next week. Bye.